Marahi, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. What's up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to be sending the youth here. I, 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 I got to bring the youth part here. Look at here. I mean, yeah. it looks I, so no, different. No, but honestly, I wish I had like worn a little bit more. But you know what? No, no. I'm here representing the youth, so. Yes, this is how they look. Bring this is how you look. Bringing a little bit of swagger. <laughs> and an Indonesian swagger. I love that jacket of yours. Yeah. Thank you. It's really Andel cool. I, I, exactly. I never really see it anywhere else. So when yes. I saw this, I was like, I have to have it. Yeah. Um, I don't think, I don't think there's, there's been like, you know, with the hoodie and all that. Yeah, it's really cool though. Thank you. Oh, and, that's you. And this hoodie. is very much the yes. Jakarta. Yes. Right? And you have the vibe in your cell to make it look dope. There you go. I like that. Thank you. Because I haven't been feeling very young lately <laughs> with like an eight month old baby. So. Oh, I feel you. I feel you. I feel but we're you. some millennials. Yes. yes. What are they talking about? I I'm a millennial. Yes, yes we and are. That's why you're the co chair. Yeah. And we've covered the Y20 extensively a couple of months back, right? And the summit addressed four priority issues. They use employment, digital uh, transformation, sustainable and livable planet, which is the, the young people's voice is always right. the strongest. That's right. And the new addition this year was the diversity and inclusion. Correct. So could you tell us more about the communique that was presented towards us? Right. Well, obviously what, well, first of all, mm -hmm. Y20 is very different from other forums because yes. this is like real representatives of each of the G20, mm. right? 19 countries and the European Union. So it's not like the MUN where it's a simulation. This is a real gathering of representatives and they were for months. Uh, our kickoff meeting was in February. Mm. So since then, for about four months until the month of July when we had the summit, uh, they did negotiations, they proposed uh, points of uh, proposals from each country, like their aspirations, yeah. um, representing the voice of the youth of each of their country. Uh, and so you can imagine there's four priority areas, which means four delegates yeah. from each country. That's times 20. Yeah. So that means there's 80 of them, mm -hmm. uh, 20 in each priority area, having to come up with an, a, a con communique, a document that they all agree on. Mm -hmm. Now, in most of their countries, and they've said this, you know, they're so used to the voting system. Mm. Whereas here, you need to reach a consensus, and that means that there needs to be compromise sometimes yeah. to get to a point where it's agreed upon by all the countries. And I think the Indonesian youths especially need to understand this is not about Indonesia, even though we're yes. the presidency. Yes. It's we need to not be Indonesia centrist. That's, yes. that's like yes. Indonesia centric one way to put it. As in, we need to take into account all the 19 countries and the European Union, which makes it very powerful because it's not the G7 is only like yes. seven, seven powerful countries. Indonesia, for the first time, became presidency or the host and the first of all the developing countries. Yeah, it's certainly really interesting to see. And as I mentioned before, um, there's one additional new... Um, yes, diversity. Diversity and inclusion. And, inclusion. and also, uh, it you know, the particular uh, Y20 forum that you hosted yeah. towards uh, in the middle of the year, it also, you know, um, brought forth underrepresented communities such as people with disabilities. Yes. Mm -hmm indigenous uh, groups and local communities and refugees were also able to attend. Yes. How yes. has that changed the voices inside of the group? You know, it's... Or the it's, perspective. It's really strange because I think so many of the youth talk about it, right? Yes. We talk about it, we say, we, we are activists about it, yes. you know, with the inclusion especially. And But usually we talk about it as in gender equity, mm -hmm. yeah. right? We talk about women being involved, represented. Yeah. But it's so different when we have these underrepresented communities that's even less represented than yeah. just yeah. women, you know? So we are so proud to include these three underrepresented communities. Um, and we, we work together with the UN, uh, especially UNICEF, uh, and to, to pick basically three representatives from the group. Unfortunately, and I know we've been, we've been <laughs> getting some slack about this, about how, uh, you know, we're not inclusive enough and it's not including all the youths. And unfortunately, that's just not how the Y20 is done. It's not how the G20 is done. Delegates 
are picked, selected. It, they go through a very rigorous selection process. Yes, yes. Uh, like for Indonesia, we, we had 530 applicants. Mm -hmm. Only four were picked. I mean, it's harder than getting yeah. to Harvard. So, <laughs> so, so it, we, you know, we went through that process. However, what we did do that was very different from all the previous years, we actually had pre-summits Mm -hmm. where we included a hundred youths in four different cities mm -hmm. uh, from the, you know, in, in West Indonesia, Central Indonesia, East Indonesia, and then what's, what's to be the new capital city. So right. that yeah. area in, in Kalimantan. We opened it up to mm -hmm. the local youths, which never happened before. Mm -hmm. And having these three groups being represented there as well as an right. observer, that's also very different. Yeah. Never been done before. So a lot of initiatives this year to ensure that there is a diverse voice, that, that there is a diverse presence, mm -hmm. and uh, we have in real inclusion. Mm -hmm. So yeah. so we're, we're trying to walk the talk. So speaking of Youth Pledge Day, um, there's a lot thing happening for you guys in Y20. Yeah. And um, I just wanted to say, uh, I, I don't want to say great job, because there's a lot of new innovations coming from you guys. Right. Thank you. And for you personally, who has been in the Y20, uh, system the entire year now. Yeah. What is your hopes for the future when it comes to the youth or young people of the world? I, I'm I'm very optimistic now. Uh, ever since I saw how enthusiastic the youths are and how yeah. critical they are, and and that's a good thing, you know. <laughs> uh, so my hope is that more and more of Indonesian youth get to realize that we don't just live in a country called Indonesia, mm -hmm. but we're part of the world and that means that we're a global citizen. So whatever we decide, wherever we are, will affect how this country goes yes. and will affect Indonesia being the fourth largest population in the world. It means we have power in that. Mm -hmm. And so we need to realize that power and lastly, not just the Indonesian power, but also the Indonesian youths, because millennials and Gen Zs, we are the majority of this country right now. Yes, yes. We're 53% of the demography, and so when when it comes to that, it means know your power and, and yes. make sure your your voice counts. Yes, and because we are the future, right? And, yep. and we're not just the future. I keep on saying this. We are not just the future. We are also we're... the present. All right, we're the present and the we future. We are the present and the we're... future yes. because we, we are, are the, the majority present. right now. Yeah. We are the present because we're the ones actively capable of doing something, so we yeah. have to do something. Yes. So yeah. inspiring the next to become the future. Yeah. There you <laughs> go. There I you like go. that. Yes, let's prepare the next generation. Thank you so much for your time. This has been so Thank much you. fun. And you and know, having a yeah. culture just like Barahayu, I mean, seeing her passion and your ambition <laughs> and just your energy, my goodness. <laughs> yes. Definitely, we are very inspired by you Thank and also you by so the Y20 much. Summit. Thank you for having me. Well, what up to that? <laughs>